What's up YouTube? It's Hadrian here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I am so glad to be back from vacation. It was so much fun being over in the Philippines, but I was terribly homesick amidst America and making videos for you guys that are here, I guess. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but I am so glad to be back. Thank you guys so, so much for all your kind words while I was over in the Philippines. I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. I have actually a lot more to show you, so I'll actually be like putting those in with the mix of my regular videos as well since I was like terribly sick the whole, almost the whole entire time that I was there and the um, upload speeds were abysmal in the Philippines. It took me hours to upload just like a 500 megabyte video. Like it literally took like six hours to upload, so. I'm back here and cannot wait to show you guys the rest of the fun stuff that I did in the Philippines and to do more thrifting and bag rehabs with you guys. So, yeah. Oh, and I wanted to thank you guys again. Um, 1,000 subscribers has been surpassed. So, of course, I'm going to be doing that giveaway. I actually, this haul is actually from... Um, the thrifting that I did trying to find stuff for the giveaway, which I have not finished shopping for yet. So I'm going to continue doing that and make more videos for you guys. Hopefully in this coming week, I'll have, um, the items for the giveaway. Then I can start doing that as well. Because I want to do that for you guys. I'm so super duper excited. I got you guys some stuff whoever, for whoever the winner is. I got some stuff from the Philippines. And um, I'm going to get some stuff while thrifting and some like just new stuff as well. Like the things that I love. So I hope you guys love it too. I can't wait to do that for you guys. And so this haul is kind of big. Um, I went thrifting the whole weekend and I got a ton of great stuff. And things for like resale, things for myself, and then things to like send to my aunts. Because... They didn't know that, like, I love thrifting so much and that, um, like, you can find, like, such amazing things here. And in the Philippines, like, plates are really expensive for some reason. And I always seem to find some pretty cute, like, dinnerware while I'm thrifting. So I, will t I told them that I would send them, like, a box full of plates. And I have, like, how many ants do I have? I have eight ants in the Philippines and I'm just going to send them all a bunch of plates. So... You could probably already see some of them behind me. So let's get into it. This um, is going to be kind of a long video. So let's get into it right now. So the first item that I have, I'll show you, are my plates that are right here. So these colorful plates are actually all Pottery Barn plates. And Pottery Barn. And I got them all for $19.99. I love, like... Um, when you go to the Goodwill, there's a lot of times where the plates are just like singular. Like this bowl is $1.99, this plate is $1.99, $2.99, $0.99, blah blah blah. But it's always an amazing deal when they package them all together. So I got 37 pieces of dinnerware, Pottery Barn, for $19.99. So it's like almost like... Oh, and when I paid for these, um, I didn't know that I was actually talking to the manager and I was like just looking at them. And then I was like, oh no, one of them has like a little crack in it. And I can't even find it right now. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Is that it? Okay, uh, oh, there it is. There's a little crack in one of the plates. And I was like, oh, there's a little crack. And I, like, honestly, I was going to be like, oh, it's fine. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's cracked. And she's like... I'll just give you a little discount. She gave it to me, she gave all the plates to me for $17.99, which I thought was very kind and very very generous of her to do that. So I don't remember what her name was. I think it was like Laura. So if you're watching, thank you so much for the amazing deal and customer service. That is amazing. I would have just taken them like that. I didn't even care. But um that was such a great deal. And then I got these really pretty um these are China plates. And these plates are made in Japan, and they're a brand called Crown Victoria, Fine China, and I guess the collection is called Lovelace. And it's so pretty. It's like an off-white, um, like, base color, and then the 
ornamentation is like a floral print in white and then it has like the silver um it's almost like an inlay or like the i don't know what it's called but it has like the silver um rings on it and they're so 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 pretty and these um i purchased at the goodwill outlet and these were only 50 cents a piece and unfortunately i couldn't find like i wanted to do like a complete set of them but i only found enough for like two place settings so that's what i got so that was just um a dinner plate a little dessert plate and then a tiny little bowl thing so that's what i got for that amazing deal uh, so all these pieces, uh, I cannot speak anymore, all of these pieces were about 50 cents a piece. So, amazing deal. Um, I'm super excited. Those are the plates that I got thus far. I'm actually going to fill a giant box full of, like, plates and clothes and send them to the Philippines. So I'm super excited for that. <coughs> so I've been shopping for, like, not just, um, not just, like, for the giveaway but like to send to the Philippines and for resale so alright and then the next thing I actually got this at the same Goodwill as I got the Pottery Barn plates and it is this really cool tote bag now this is by a brand called Levenger I'm not super familiar but I looked them up they make some really great pieces and I've been looking for a really really nice like a nice sturdy bag for when I go thrifting so especially like if I'm going to buy plates and stuff anything heavy I want to be able to put it in like a really um durable uh bag that I know is gonna like hold them protect them and this like canvas is like super thick and I just love this tote it actually comes with a detachable interior uh zipper pouch and when the pouch is attached the bag looks like this but then when you detach it and it opens up like this and then you can just have like a giant tote and I think these totes are so perfect like they're great for when you go shopping and you just want to throw like all your bags together in one thing this is perfect and it's so huge and it has like great pockets for cell phones and what I don't think my cell phone would fit in there but I don't know it still has pockets regardless you can put whatever in them but um I thought this was just a great piece, and this was $7.99, and again, I got this from when I bought, or at the same place where I bought those plates from, and then the manager noticed that there was, like, this stain on the side, which I honestly, I knew about it, and she's like, oh, there's a stain on it, she's like, I'm just gonna give you a discount, so she gave it to me, this was $7.99, she gave it to me for, like, $4.99, and then it was blue, so it was another 50% off, so it was, like, $2.50, so I was like, oh my god, $2.50 for this, like, amazing bag, like, I don't care if it's dirty, of course I'm going to try and clean it. And if you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments below. And then uh, I'll definitely make a video for how I'm going to try and clean this. I don't know how well the stain is going to come out because I have no clue what it is. It's always kind of iffy to try to get stains out of fabric. Um, but whatever, it was $2.50. Even if I mess it up even more, I feel like I can just dye it a whole other color. Like, I don't know, navy would be really pretty. I don't know how the stain would do with that. Maybe brown. I don't know. But I think this is just like a really great bag, great for shopping, perfect for everything. So I just love it. Super excited that I found it out. And since we're um, on bags and stuff, I believe this was yesterday and I believe I did like a little mini haul at the end of the video for when this, um, for when I did, <coughs> excuse me, for, when I, for this little thrifting expedition. expedition. <gasps> My God, I really cannot talk right now. But this is just such a great leather backpack i'm not familiar with the brand again it's called polo hut but this leather is amazing if you feel it it's it feels to me like um brittle leather like they use for um saddles and stuff i know burberry uses it a lot in their handbags and this is like what it feels like except like it feels like two times thicker and luckily this is a definitely a vintage bag you can tell by the interior like how they did it like this is like a very like vintagey um like interior no one really does that anymore so i want to say it's like maybe from the 80s or 90s but it's an impeccable condition the interior is super clean the exterior is great and it's just like worn in perfectly and i just love like this color it's the same color as my proenza ps1 and it's the same as my coach backpack that i got for when i went to the philippines and like i'm just like obsessed with this color i'm super obsessed with this backpack it's gonna be great for like 
if you can use this for school, it'll probably fit like a notebook, like notebooks in there or whatever. Or if you're gonna go to the mall, going on vacation, whatever, going hiking, this is gonna be the bag for you. And this bag was just $7.99. Great deal. Love it. And then the next bag I found is this really great, this is a Hobo International just little tote. And I love like um, the million compartments that are inside and then there's like that one exterior pocket right here as well for your cell phone or whatever you want to put in there, your keys. And I just think it's so great. It's pretty clean inside. The exterior is in really good condition. It's um, patent leather, but it's like that crushed leather. And the only real problem with it is the can you guys see right there? The handles, the edge coating on the handles are a little worse for wear, but you know that we can fix that. So we're gonna fix that up and then we're gonna put it online and see if anyone wants it. I purchased it for $5.99 and I just think this is just like such a great little tote bag. And I don't know, I think it's really cute. So there's that, another great bag. And, oh my gosh, so the, um. I got these Birkenstocks. Now I have been wanting these for like the longest time. Birkenstocks and Sperry's were like my <laughs> shoes that I wore when I was little, when I was growing up. And I don't know, I still love Sperry's. I still have a ton of them. And now I finally have, I didn't really want to um, pay full price for Birkenstocks. I don't know why I think they're really great, but like, I don't know, my mom and my sister and the kids, my sister's kids, have been really getting into Birkenstocks, like they all have a pair, and I'm like, wait a minute, I, like, I'm feeling super nostalgic and I want a pair too, and now I finally do. I have found other Birkenstocks in stores before, but they're either, like, a, too big or too small. These actually fit, and they're, like, literally brand new. The soles have never touched, like, the floor, I feel like. Like, they're in perfect condition. Look at that. Amazing. And these were only $29.99. So I'm super happy. Great, great buy. Finally have my own little set of Birkenstocks, so I'm super excited. Oh! This is from the other day as well. This is a Victoria's Secret pink fanny pack. Super cute. I think this was actually a giveaway, but I know they priced their giveaway still. This one's priced at $24.95. But I got this for like three bucks, three ninety nine, dollars I think. And it comes with like this drink holder. Yeah, it was $3.99. But it comes with like a drink holder too in the inside. You know, to protect your fingers from the cold precipitation that comes from your cold drink. And perfect. So fanny pack when you're working out at the gym, hiking, whatever. Great. So that was a great find as well. I thought it was super cute. And I don't know if I showed you guys this shirt, but this shirt is so adorable. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. It says, eat sheet and fry. Now, and it has like the little smiley face egg on it. And this is um, by a brand called Bad Acid, which I believe is actually a sister company to Unif. Unif, am I saying that? I feel like I never say anything right. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I know, like, the other day I read a comment from someone that said I said that I pronounced Moschino wrong. It's Moschino, I guess, and I was saying Moschino, but I don't know, I feel like I can't pronounce anything right, so. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but I thought this shirt was super cute, and yeah, so excited to find that shirt. And it feels really amazing, too, which I really like as well. And now let's get into the things that I found at the... Goodwill. Oh wait, no. I have one more piece that I found at the regular Goodwill that I have to show you guys because it was such a great find and I was super duper, super duper duper excited to find it. And it is this Madewell lace shirt. It's so pretty. It's an extra small. Now most of the girl, like, girl clothes that I purchased um, <laughs> fit my sister and she just took ownership of them and I was like wait let me just film this video then you can have them I'll wash them for you whatever she's like okay whatever she's like just give them to me because I really want them she tried them all on and they all fit her perfectly of course I don't know why everything that I find at the thrift store fits her because like all the like a lot of the stuff that I find ends up going to her for some reason but this is such a great like lace top it's so cute extra small and I believe um 
the tops, the women's tops at the Goodwill are like four, I want to say four ninety nine or three ninety nine, and this had a blue sticker on it, or a blue tag right there. So that means that this piece was fifty percent off. So it was either two fifty or two dollars, something like that. So this was such an amazing find. I was so super duper excited to find this. And now my sister was super duper excited for me to find it as well because she has taken ownership over it. And now for the things that I found. Oh wait, one last thing. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like, ugh. I need to be more organized, really. Come on, Adrian, get with the program. Now this is a Ben Sherman men's large t-shirt. And it is like in really, really great condition. It's a, a navy color. And it is really, 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 really nice. And this was just a great find. Um, I believe the men's shirts are like $1.99 at the Goodwill. I always forget what the prices are because some Goodwills have different pricings for different things, like give or take a dollar. So I've gone to Goodwills where the shirts are $0.99, cents and then $1.99, $2.99. These are all just for t-shirts. So they all, like, all the prices, I feel like, change depending on different stores. So now I... I'm going to show you guys stuff that I found at the Goodwill Outlet. Now, if you guys don't know, the Goodwill Outlet is a place where you can buy clothing by the pound. And I love going there, but it's really, like, you just have to put some work into it because you have to dig through piles. Like, they have giant bins full of clothing. And everything's just mixed together. You just kind of have to dig through it. But you can find some treasures in there. Like, literally, you can find the most amazing things. So, I found some great stuff. And again, my sister just took ownership over most of it, but that's fine. These items were really inexpensive because I believe at that Goodwill outlet, the clothing is like, I want to say $1.75 to two fifty dollars a pound. I don't remember. Um, I want to say $1.75 a pound. So, I found this really great, this is a Ralph Lauren polo. I think this is a boy's. Um, boy sizes because it's a large 14 to 16 but it's just like such a great shirt it's in really great condition uh, it hasn't faded at all the color is still bright and vibrant so that was an amazing find and then I found just like this super fun tank top it says a let's make fireworks and this is like it's made by um, a clothing company called lol vintage and it's kind of like, I don't know what you call this type of tank top, but I feel like it looks like an A-line skirt, so I'm going to call it an A-line tank top. And it's like nice and flowy at the bottom. You can wear it with like sports bra or something or you're working out or going to, to the beach or something. Really cute. Then I found these really great Volcom cutoff shorts, which the, my sister totally took ownership over this too. And this was just like a really great find. And this great kimchi blue. Now this is, um, I think it's a dress. Or you can wear it like a top. I'm not too sure. Um, it's really cute. It was like the length was a little awkward for my sister. So she didn't take it. Even though it did fit her. But she is only like, she's barely like five feet tall. So I think she felt like it, like it hit her in a weird spot. But this is like such a cute top. And I love the print, and I love like this lace razor back detail right there. Really, really cute. Then I found another kimchi, or kimchi, kimchi blue piece, and it is this fun flirty skirt. This is a size zero, and it has, just has like a cute like floral design on it, and it's just really fun. Then I found another Vulcan piece. Now this was um, really great because this is just like, I thought this was really cute actually. Now this is uh, it's a gray sweater but it has this like a galaxy printed pocket, sheer pocket in the front. And in the back it has a sheer panel with that galaxy print as well. And I thought this was super great and my sister like fell in love with it of course. She loves anything galaxy and it's so cute. Medium, awesome. Now this was another awesome piece that I found. Um, the brand is called Cloth and Stone, and this is just like a denim shirt, um, elongated, and it is really, really cute. These actually run upwards of $100 online, so this was a super like great find. And of course, my sister took that as well. 
And I got this really cool Forever 21. This I believe this is Forever 21 Girls. And this is just like a fun party looking dress. I don't know. It's sheer, fun, whimsical. And I found these. Now, they have like a ton of these. I only got three pairs. But these are um, some Marona shorts, size 4. In like this orangey red color. And these are brand new. They still have tags on them. So these are from Target. And yeah, my aunts are going to love these. And then last but not least, I found these two adorable dresses. Here is a little red girl's dress and then a little yellow one. So cute. There's so many babies in the Philippines, so I'm sure this will fit one of them. And I believe that is it for today's haul. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I know it got a little long, but, um, <coughs> excuse me. Mm. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Um, stay tuned for um, the giveaway. That is going to happen very, very soon. I'm on the lookout. And I just want to find the perfect thing. I don't know. Um, I already got some stuff for you guys. Or I already for whoever the winner is already. But I just wanted to find like the perfect thing. And uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite thing that I found was. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It definitely helps. And again, let me know if you guys have any questions um, I want to answer for the Q&A for when I announce the official giveaway and the rules and regulations and all that stuff, which I'm not too sure about, which I'm going to have to look into because I have no clue how to do a giveaway. If anyone knows how to do a giveaway, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure I can find it somewhere online. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. You're all amazing. All your support has, like, totally made my heart sing. So, thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Love you. Bye.